Blackbusters. Yo, what's up? You already know what it is, B. You understand? Know it's your boy, Big Ja. And this is the best movie critique podcast in the entire world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. You know what I'm saying? What's good? <laughs> it's your boy, Big Ja. And I got my New York Scully. I got my New York Wavy going on right now. Yeah, you done. You know what I'm saying? Because we got a good, good, yeah, good done. movie today. You know what I'm saying? But, but first, let me introduce my co-host. Brother Tone. Peace, God. I'm very happy to be here. Very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be yes, here. Peace the to the God. Of my, peace to the gods and Yo. the earth. Hope your earth is good. Your earth. Your seas. Your, sea, yes your moon. Me. All that. Saturn. Yes, in. Saturn, yes, my in. G. Straight up and down, B. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, today, I, I am honored and blessed to have yes. a very special guest today. Yes. Um, uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Mm-hmm. Tony Baker. Yes, sir. Yo, word to my mother. Word to your mother. My mother. It's good to be here, son. <laughs> yes, son. Yes, word, sir. Word life, son. Word life. Real life. Word life. Word life. Here, life. Yes, yeah. sir. Everybody on the East Coast is mad good oh, on the like, screen. What are these niggas <laughs> doing? <laughs> they so they just ripped the shreds, son. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they, go, they want to be the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they gonna be in the comments crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, this they hate us. I love New York, man. Oh, I love New York. Yes, indeed. And I'm doing the goofy accent. Because we're doing, um, today we're doing the film Painful. Paid in full. Man. Yeah, Paid in full. full man. And I'm honored to have you here today, bro. Yes. Oh, man. To I'm do this to film. Here, man. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> uh, paid in full. There's so much to be said about this film. Yeah. I'll start off by saying underrated. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Underrated. Absolutely. Uh, they did a phenomenal job, in my opinion. Cult classic. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Directed by Charles Stone the yep. Third. You did a hell of a job, brother. Um, starring Wood Harris. Yes, sir. Mackay Pfeiffer. Yes, sir. Stars to the cast. Mm-hmm. We got Cameron in there. Yep. yep. Um, we got uh Regina Hall. Regina Hall. Always. Hey, Regina she was Hall. looking so good, man. Oh man. Top oh, man. tier. Man. Top this... I won't bring the tears Ooh, in. There oh, there we go. She's home with oh. tears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, she did a thing. Yeah. Uh, at least Neil. At least Neil is uh-huh. top there. tier. And I love at least too. Yeah, I too. wish I saw more of her, man, in mm-hmm. the, in, the, in the days in, the, in today's um time. Right. Uh, who else I'm missing? It's a it's a few people in there, man. But um, we'll just get into uh, what, what's going on with the film. Yeah, it's about it's a would you call it a biopic? Yeah, it's based on it's based on a true story of A Z Faison, yes sir, uh, Alpo and mm-hmm. uh, Rich Porter, Rich Porter. So it's it's strongly based. I know there's yeah, some things yeah, that they changed is, yeah, on sure. you know what they went through in the drug game. Right. In the eighties. In the eighties. In the eighties, yeah. uh in Harlem, mm-hmm. uptown. They uh it's a true it's based off true events. Right. And uh Will Harris plays Azon. I mean mm-hmm. A Z. Mm-hmm. And uh Rico is uh Cameron. Yeah. Rich Porter is Mitch. Yeah. Um Mackay Pfeiffer did a phenomenal job. Yeah, absolutely. Uh yeah. the it it just felt good. Mm-hmm. It felt good, and it, the movie was so good to me. It, it's different from it's do, different from New Jack City, right? Right, mm-hmm. and it's around the same era, eighties, eighty six, eighty five. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I feel like, it, how do you feel about before we get all the way into it? How do you feel about New Jack City, which is great? Yeah, we, we did that recently. Mm-hmm. Um, and and uh, and paid in full. I felt like it was two different. They're two different genres. Two different Paid genres. Full is a drama. New Jack City is an action movie. I agree. Mm-hmm. It's, a cop, it's a cop. It's a cops and robber. It's a cop. You know what yeah, I mean? It's, yeah. it's action. Yeah. That was that was the. That's what, and that's why it feels yeah. different. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Very similar stories. Very similar things happened, but like the cops weren't even involved right. in Paid the Fool. Yeah. This is yeah. strictly this hood. This is this and is this is what's going villains on. Villains and, and and cops and yeah. like you know what I'm saying. So it's in that vein of like an action movie, right? Paid in Fool hits for me like the same way that the wire hits for me big yeah. facts there's a there's a grittiness to it mm-hmm. there's a pacing to it right um all of these actors are believable right like, all of these circumstances yeah. are believable right. like mm-hmm. if you if you watch the dominoes fall on the, on the characters right? right from how they get into the game what the game does to them how to get in on the opposite side mm-hmm. it all makes sense mm-hmm. right it yeah. all makes sense in a way that the elements of New Jack City make sense too, 
but it's almost kind of like you needed the backstory. And right. like paid in full could have, you know, with some tweaks could have been the prequel to New Jack City. Right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. how these guys came up. Of course, nobody was as malicious as Nino. Nino but there's, was but there's crazy. A, there's a reality to it, a greediness. Rico might have been as malicious, but he wasn't as smart. Right. Definitely Rico wasn't as smart as Nino. Yeah, not at all. But he definitely had that recklessness that, mm-hmm. you know. You kind of need. So we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Because Rico was it was an interesting character. The mm-hmm. person in general is just yep. a very interesting guy. Right. Um, I agree. With, I think New Jack City gave us, like, the point of view for the police. Yeah. Basically, mm-hmm. it was like. Ice T was the main character. This is true, you know where Will Harris, the actual drug dealer, the actual imagine New Jack City being told from the from the perspective of Nino Brown, right? Mm-hmm. Starting be before, yeah, you know, they even hit the drug game. Mm-hmm. What brought Nino in? Yeah. G Money, yeah. that whole right. relationship. Mm-hmm. Why he was the way he was. Right? How did he get to be that person? Right? Mm-hmm. Did he start off like Ace? Was That's he just meek, kind of quiet, right. Right. and he Low turned key. into this monster? I don't know. Or was he like Mitch, just mm-hmm. liking the the, yeah. the glamour, the stage of it? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I love this shit. Because I, I love, love what I like <laughs> about Mitch, what I like about Peyton Fool, mm-hmm. I would say Rico was probably the the most one-dimensional of the three leads. Mm-hmm. Right. But Mitch and Ace, you know, they they wanted the same thing. Yep. But right. Ace was perfectly fine being low key. Mm-hmm. I'm just seeing this as a business. Right. I right. see you shining. Mm-hmm. He would he would tell Miss like I mean I see you that's out you. here. That's <laughs> you. you. That's you. Uh-huh. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't want loyal dude didn't want the spotlight. Yeah. yeah. Mitch wanted the stage. Yeah. Is it safe to say that the drug game found Ace? <laughs> I mean, he went in that pocket and pulled out that little rock. So this I is, would say I would say it did because he didn't go looking for he it. Didn't. He didn't. I mean, he, he was thinking about it. Yeah, but he was still just kind of like. I and don't know. I think he kind of even brought the rock back to Lulu, not on some put me on, but on some I don't want you come looking for me. Exactly. Right. So I, 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 he, he's not a street dude. He's a right. hood dude that understands the streets. He was like, nah, right. this dude gonna probably come looking for mm-hmm. this. Absolutely. I don't want him to think I, I stole that trouble. Yep. So let me right. give it back to him. Yeah. And that and he stumbled upon the game. He did. So this is what. You know, I, I everybody in this room grew up during, you know, the explosion, the crack era yeah. right. of drug. Mm-hmm. I did it here on the West Coast in L.A. Right. So it's a totally different experience than what True. happened in Same New York. Here, yep. To a certain extent, the realness and grittiness of it is first introduced to me via rap, rap music. Yeah, right. Of course. And the rappers were telling the story. But you know right. how, like, there's an embellishment. So it's almost kind of like almost like a Tom and Jerry kind of like fictionalized version of it. Mm-hmm. Whenever I get these real gritty stories about the crack game in New York, mm-hmm. shit is terrifying to me. Yeah. Right? right? It's terrifying because it was all of this opportunity and death and murder yeah. and poverty. And right. literally, we how do I get out of here? Right. How do I change my circumstance? So like Ace, he fell into it, mm-hmm. but he needed it he needed as it. much as anybody else. Right. He did, was tired of working at the cleaners. $75 right? right? a week. Yeah, you know, I, $75 a week. You know, I want more for, for me and more for my family. Right. right. So it's interesting how how the the gravitational pull of the game pulled people into mm-hmm. it, but who people were before kind of dictates what the game was ultimately able to extract from him, right? right? Like, if you look at who Ace was, like, the game never turned him out. No. Right. The game... He stayed consistent. He, he, he stayed paid consistent. for it in full. Yeah. Right, he did. Right? Yeah, he did. Mitch, right? Like, you know, yeah. like like what the game did to them. Yeah. So, so it's such an interesting story, but but believable. Yeah. Believable that the kid that Big worked facts. in the cleaners oh, yeah. could end up being the one with the connect. Right. Yeah, for sure. Now, when you had... And well, one one thing I really loved was seeing Mitch. You saw Mitch Driver in the BBSs, and he yeah. had he had the uh, the BMW, the top down, and all that. And he was shining. He was the man in the city, right? Mm-hmm. And he shared a room with his bro- with his little brother. Yep. yep. He came home, took his jewels off yep. slowly, folded it up, mm-hmm. folded up mm-hmm. everything. Neatly. He's neat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Very precise. And he was just mm-hmm. in there with his little brother, Sitting watching there, the door, watching the door, and that let me know. Oh, either a He's he's mismanaging his money. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Uh 
B, he's not making enough to get out. Right. But he's shining. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's shining on surface, but he really don't have no real bread. Right. Uh, cause I was like, why is he in the room? Get you an apartment. That's you right. That's the first move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a chain and I know a whip and the honeys. Because we were talking about that. We had a watch party for it last night. And we were talking about, like, why are you still living in that apartment? Right. Now, mind you, it's tough to get an apartment. I don't know how it was in, in the 80s mm-hmm. in New York. Right. But it's tough to get an apartment without proof mm-hmm. of income. Truth. Right. So Truth. if you come in, unless right. you have a connect in, in in real estate somewhere where you can just. Right. But it's going to be, all right, we need checks, though. Yeah. We need this yeah. and the mm-hmm. third right. before we can give you the apartment. Can't get out mm-hmm. the hood. So you can't just come in with, like, mm-hmm. yeah. cash like, on nah, the table. Money don't, yeah. money don't talk like yeah, that. Yeah. Right. right. And if you're not smart enough in the game, mm-hmm. you know, you just you just getting money off the street. You don't really know that side of it. Mm-hmm. So you just in the little yeah. comfort zone. You can get a car. You can go up to a dealership right. and be like, cash. Right. But Mitch told you what his priorities were. Mitch's priorities were not stable and consistent housing. Right. Yeah. Mitch loved the block. Yeah. He, he needed did. something he at the he block. I want to be fly for the stage. I want to, I want I love pulling up in yeah. my car with yeah. my clothes. That's what matters the most. Right. And it's not like a, a foreign concept when you think oh, about no, it. No, no, no. There are a lot of people who would much who would take their money mm-hmm. and much rather spend it on shine yep. than something out of that. Right. But again, the rap game has told us that like whatever it was that they was hustling was enough to get a little gear. Yeah. But not enough to like change your circumstance, right? Right, right. Mm-hmm. right. It's crazy, super crazy. He had a different whip almost every other week. Right. Yeah, I'm like, bro, the money was there. The money was there. He, he could he, definitely he, afford come an apartment. On, get you, a, yeah, you in the hood too. Yeah. You know, he could have been in an apartment like uh, the dude, the Spanish mm-hmm. dude, Lulu. He could have been in that same type of apartment. He could have took his yeah. brother in. What did Lulu do? Oh, he could have. He could have took his brother in, put yeah. his mom in a nice little spot. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing Ice did have a point with. Ice did have a point. Ice yeah. had a point. He said, "Bro, you're all you, this you money bring you bringing groceries and you just mm-hmm. you doing the bare minimum." He had <laughs> yeah. a point in that moment. Yep, he I think did. that's why Mitch was so explosive in that moment because yeah. he probably knew he got a point. Yeah. Right, and then it was just, but the, the source was just you a snake, mm-hmm. yeah, the snake giving you real yeah. bars. Oh, you just like, man, come it's on, going man. out the window. I'm out of hearing that. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He's like, ah, uh, the snake is giving the you snake bars. giving the you snake real bars. Give, yeah. Yeah. Like, you can't take real bars from yeah. a snake. Nah, yeah. Yeah. man, don't register. That's uh-huh. Garden of Eden right there. That's what you know. That's yeah. Yeah. so you Woo. felt the. What I love about Peyton Full though is everything was downplayed. You know, I know the budget for the film was low, mm-hmm. but that's what made the film feel more real than, than anything else. They didn't overplay anything. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. Rico was a loose cannon and wild, but mm-hmm. everything else in the movie was super understated, super low key, and that made it feel real. Yeah. It's just mm-hmm. like they're not doing too much. Mm-hmm. Right. Even e- And the movie feels incredibly lean. Like it's only yes. like 90 something minutes. Right. It moves at a fast right. mm-hmm. pace. Mm-hmm. And then you just they like, cut man. it, they jump. A yeah. Lot. yeah. It's just like boom, 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 boom. You're done. It's like, mm-hmm. man, it's moving yeah. over already. Mm-hmm. And it's a super cautionary tale. Um, and that's how AZ wanted it in real life. He was mm-hmm. just like, yo, I don't want to glorify, I don't ever want to glorify this. Right. Yeah. Like when you think about what they went through and I can't imagine like getting shot in the head and surviving, seeing your family and mm-hmm. friends gunned down. Yeah, so it's just yeah. like, and that's what I like about drug, anything involving drugs now, I feel like they're all showing us the downside of it. Even yep. Breaking Bad, Narcos, whatever yeah, yeah, you yeah, watch, yeah. Mm-hmm. is never worth it. Even when yeah. they're making the money, they still like, we gotta, we gotta yeah. launder the money, we yeah. gotta do this. It, it, it's, it's, tough. it's a tough job getting rid of that Man. brain. Yeah. Getting I, it, it's I, dangerous to get it. You're I'm taking a risk. Think. Right. In in all movie, you know, cinema history and and television history, does anybody <clears throat> what examples of somebody that got in and got out? Like, is there any is there any unscathed? happily ever after unscathed what, what's, in the drug do, game? Do y'all remember um, American Gangster, the the TV series on oh, ET? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure, was it Melvin Williams? Yeah, he's in the Wire. He's in the Wire yeah. as a Lincoln, right? You're all right, and. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I, I found out later on that he yeah. was Melvin Williams, mm-hmm. right? And uh, not Wells, he is. But um, he actually did. He did. He didn't do drugs, but he did go. To, he went to jail for some time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He got out and cold turkey quit, to, according right. to what I hear in the story. Right. Mm-hmm. That he he got out, and after like twelve or thirteen years, I think he'd never been to jail except once. And that one time, that prison sentence, yeah. Yeah. he did thirteen. I think that would be an L. And then yeah, so, once you go to prison, that would be it's an either L. death or prison, mm-hmm. or you know. Your family members was horribly murdered. Or there, there's, <laughs> yeah. there's, there's gonna be <laughs> some kind of loss yeah. in there, even if you get out the game. Mm-hmm. And those who 
in movies, I don't think anybody's come away yeah. clean. But in real life, I feel like if you did come away clean and you walked away from the game at the right time, we don't know about it because you can't even say nothing. Right. Yeah. This is true. Right. So you could never be like, you know, like yeah, out. man. Yeah. I made I made uh, 19 million in the right. middle of the year mm-hmm. and I got out. I feel like Jay-Z did that. Ah. Jay-Z might be the only example. He does have he does have a mugshot though, but does that count if it's like ticket? Or he don't really do no Yeah, time. if you get arrested. Yeah, Jay never did no hard time. Yeah. yeah. So so I feel he like never did no Z, hard time. We always hear about his mm-hmm. past in the drug game, mm-hmm. but he turned into this. Right, right, right. So that could be a success right. story. But I yeah. think there's success stories in real we life. Just mm-hmm. don't, they just you just don't hear about yeah. it. Right. Because how how did Uncle Bernard uh, get his four businesses. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so the CD. Yeah. The CD 69 years old, mm-hmm. 72 years old. And mm-hmm. We should no get the collateral. The whole family the poor. How yeah. did he right. make the bread? Right. He didn't right. go to college. Yeah. We might have, you know what I'm saying? He might have a story to tell us. That's an interesting yeah. point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's that's an question. interesting yeah. point. Yeah. Some, uh, it's probably way more than we know Right. that mm-hmm. got in the game and got out. Yeah. Wow. Because I couldn't imagine everybody. Okay, you just that dumb. Yeah. I feel like if I was the street nigga, I would know when to get out. I say that only because I've mm-hmm. always been a kid. I was the youngest. Like I, I'm the youngest. I got older brothers and older older sisters. Mm-hmm. I will watch them mess up. Yeah, yeah. I watch the big homies in the hood mess up. Like, <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna game bang because right. these dudes my age and all five of these dudes is, they, that joined the set last summer is in YA. Yeah. Right, yeah. is in the juvenile hall already. I was like, ah, okay, I, I'm. A, what makes me so special that I'm not going to go? Right. So I was yeah. like, nah, let me just fall back and, and stick yeah. to this football shit. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I, I feel like even if, I don't think I would have gotten to the drug game, even though I know kids, I know older dudes who was regular guys mm-hmm. in the hood that had regular jobs that was literally saying, bro, I'm a, I'm a, it's a side hustle for them. Yeah. I said a little See, crack here. I, it's, it's not good, but it, yeah, I, I do a little something. So right. <clears throat> I've done the same to, thing. I've done the same thing. I'll be kind of honest with you, man. Like, uh, in my head, mm-hmm. I've played out numerous scenarios where I was like a drug lord, mm-hmm. right? Like, you know, uh, the vast majority of time, uh, I'm I'm too kind and uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> genuinely right. to like run a successful enterprise. Right. But like, I've I've thought about one where like I recruited somebody that was hard to be the face of it. Uh-huh. Yeah. But then I was like, you know, but I'm really like the, the you know, the, the guy the, behind the, the curtain, wizard, pulling, wizard, all the, the the wizard wizard, pulling all the the wizard pulling all the curtains. Yeah. But I think you know, but it goes to to uh, the point that you kind of made earlier off camera which was I put myself in these people in these characters positions yeah. and go what decisions would I make right? right so the thought that like I think I know when to get out is it, the movies have shown us that that's increasingly difficult once mm-hmm. this income starts rolling in right right mm-hmm. like when is enough money Every movie, one more score. How right. many times have we it's seen that thing come more. in? I'm going to get one more score, then I'm going to get out. <laughs> I'm going to do. I'm gonna move one more package. That one more gonna, score. And that additional package yeah. is the one that, like, lock you up. Rico got you, last. police, or the blast. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, Dang. you don't know when to get out. Because it's a slippery slope. Yeah. Could you see that Rico wasn't solid? Yes, you, from, from jump. Yeah. Is it is it because you want the outside looking in? Or do you think if Tony Becker was in Chicago yeah. or in New York, in Harlem, mm-hmm. and you was... 24, mm-hmm. and you're ace, though. You're not Mitch. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm ace. All right. Because uh-huh. uh-huh. Mitch, it's a little different because when you when you locked up mm-hmm. and the dude he got your back, back yeah. you mm-hmm. can't turn your back on him in the, in, 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 the, uh, in the joint. That would have been a red flag for me just given how nice he was to me. Anything you need, I got you. That's For me, mm-hmm. that's red flag central for me. Spider senses is tingling. Like, why are you jumping in? For a fight for me, and I don't really know you like that, right? right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I was handling business, you know. I, you know, yeah. But he came up. It, it was just too, you know. Opportunist was just rolling up. Yeah, I would have felt that energy and kind of distanced myself from him. Why do you think? Because Mitch seemed solid. He seemed smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why do you think that Mitch didn't see Rico being a snake, or not even a snake, mm-hmm. just being too much of an opportunist? Everyone's an opportunist right. in life because you want to take advantage of any right. opportunity that comes right. your way. Right. But when you try to curate your own opportunity through somebody else, yeah, like he maybe did, maybe I missed it. Maybe you guys can explain it to me. Why did they need him to begin with? Like he what? Like was he muscle? Did he have he a block? He was just a so they needed he, a soldier. He, he was muscle for sure because like uh, he was when he came, he was ready to do the work. And 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 be muscle because I feel like if you if you run a drug enterprise mm-hmm. with a lot of tough guys, cutthroat 
out there. And if you are more like Ace, who's mm-hmm. just chill, just want to make the money, I don't want mm-hmm. no smoke. Right. You need a wee bay. A muscle. Yeah, you need a wee you bay, need a, wee bay. But, a Rico. Mm-hmm. You know, you mm-hmm. need somebody that people fear on the streets. Right. Mm. They're not they're not real smart, but right. they right. loyal. That. Yeah. Right. They're loyal. So you need that. So with that, you know, it's like, all right, <clears throat> he's passionate about it. He's mm-hmm. going to get it done. And if need be, you know, it could be the muscle or, or something like that. Everybody has it. Think of it. Yeah. Uh, Franklin Saint has Leon. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, Nino Brown had, uh, what's the Dunham baby Man. girl? Keisha. Keisha. Uh, Keisha. 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 Dunham. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's crazy. And uh, uh, Marlo has Snoop and Chris. Yep. yep. Um, we Bay was for Avon. Yep. Uh, this was, um, Rico was supposed to be for Mitch and Ace, but he just mm. was... He wasn't loyal. He he came off as loyal, but when, I feel like when you try too hard, yeah, that's going to automatically show me that you're not really that because you you yeah. come, you're trying to overshadow the fact that you're not that by acting yeah. like you're that right. so much. And I think maybe Mitch was small time, so wasn't able to pick up on on the cues we talked about. Like we would have thought that Mitch would have been able to figure out he was a snake. Well, it seemed like Mitch was a hustler. But like almost like an independent entrepreneurial type hustler, yeah. Right, mm-hmm. like he moved his packs, yeah. his packages. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? He had his corner, his block, whatever. Right. But he didn't have a team underneath him, right. so he so none of them were good at management, right? Like, right, right. They kind of came into this organically, mm-hmm. and it's almost like you know anybody that runs a business that hires the wrong employee, right? right. Like you know you need an employee, but you don't know how to manage yet. Mm-hmm. So I think to that end. All of this was happening in real time very fast. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I don't think any of them had the ability to filter or determine who's solid and who's not. Right. 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 Especially because there was nobody in Ace's ear putting them up on game. Yeah. Wasn't like, it wasn't like he had a he legacy. Was go- he was governing he everything yeah. himself. He, he didn't have, have a no mentor. Right. Like right. Right. nobody was was. You know, and he didn't have any of those little nuggets yeah. that like hood guys will give you. You know, mm-hmm. you know, always you know do this. You know, like those little right. like kind of like proverbs, like hood proverbs. That, he didn't that, have that a, that a know. consigliere. Yeah, like exactly. A, like he didn't have a, a, he didn't have an uncle Jerome or yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, somebody just hey man, yeah. watch out for this dude because. Mm-hmm. You know, red flags on my own and be like, all right, Rico is just doing a little too much for me. Right. Even before, like, you know, he was wilding mm-hmm. out watching the sex tape and they asked drawing stupid. too much attention. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. And I'm I'm like, cause one of the scary parts about me is that I always feel like I would make a fantastic drug dealer. Yeah, right, right. right, right. <laughs> I could because <laughs> Uh-huh. I can I can be low key. I don't need the limelight. Even right. though I do stand up comedy for a living and it's entertainment, I'm I'm the face of it. Hey, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. Not bragging. Right. Not not telling all my business. Not needing to be the front man. Right. The, mm-hmm. If the money's coming in and you never know who I am, mm-hmm. I'm good. I'm with cool this. with that. I believe it or not, I yeah. am too. Man, I promise you. It's just yeah. like, you know, who, who mm-hmm. is Tony Baker? I'm right. I'm good. I mean, I and agree. So it it scares me because I'd be like, man, I would I would make a good, you know. I'm a thinker too. I, yeah, and I'm I would sit there and I wa- I read people's energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, man, Rico, I see I see the appeal, Mitch. Yep, but yeah. he's just he's gonna fuck shit up. He's not the one. Yeah, right. so he's not you the need one. wild niggas like that though, son. Yeah, yeah, just be like, I hear what you're saying. I hear what mm-hmm. you're saying. But he could be too wild. You got to yeah. be able. To, he has to be able to either self govern himself or right. be able to. Somebody needs to be able to talk to him. Right. He used to be like, "You right, you right, Ace. Ace yeah, put that away. You right." You right. Then he right. got to the point where I'm only with y'all because I'm loyal. Right. Mm-hmm. But when these niggas start talking like that, yep. it's like oh. that conversation that they had when they were watching the uh, the tape smash the girl. Mm-hmm. That's when I would have really been like, because he was listening at first. Mm-hmm. But then when you give him all this back talk and attitude, it's like, yep, yep. yeah. But he's still, is that loyalty or that's his recklessness? When um, Calvin can confronted Ace, mm-hmm. he was on his head again. Like, they right. just had an argument for the most part, they a did. disagreement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he still was, as soon as he was talking to Calvin, right. he, was, he, he was right there. He was ready yeah. for the he, like, he, he like He's literally the guy you want. You do want a guy that's, right. right. You want Malcolm Especially X. when you're not that. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. exactly. Especially when you're not the, the type of guy that's going to haul off and mm-hmm. shoot somebody in yeah. the middle of the mall. But... <laughs> shoot dudes in the yeah. ass yeah shit, or talking crazy <laughs> are you guys dog owners I not, do. not right now yeah. I got cats though okay mm-hmm. so what I imagine is is you ever go into a guy's house and he's just got like a menacing dog 
mm-hmm. in his home, mm-hmm. right? Like, yeah. like, and the dog looks at you know about about reading animal personalities, right? right? right. The dog looks mean yeah. and angry, and he's got an attitude, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm I never understood like why you would have that vicious of an animal in the house mm-hmm. because that animal's nature is to turn on you. To, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That animal's mm-hmm. nature right. is to is to bite you, and right. they tell me, "Oh, and then he don't bite." Da, da, yeah. da. I'm like, I can't trust it <laughs> because look at this beast right. that you have walking freely around your house. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what he was. Right. Right. Like you know, and to think that he's on our team, his nature was always such. It goes to Ace's like naivete. He yeah. was naive. Unlike unlike his other character, the character that he played, Avon. Right. Avon and Strain no came one. up. They came up yeah. from Corner Boys. Right. So they've gotten robbed before. Mm-hmm. You know, they have to look out for them. So by the time they get to, to run into low rises, these are established right. criminals, right? Right, right, right. Ace kind of like gets skipped a grade. He's he gets skipped He's, multiple grades. He puts he the big homie on Mitch. Right. When yeah. Mitch got out of jail. Right. right. He... he he it, fell backwards into some big time, yeah. extremely fast. Doesn't have the tenure. No team was was solidified. Mm-hmm. He didn't have muscle that he could trust. Mm-hmm. Right. Like mm-hmm. a Weebay. Right, like a Weebay. And, Weebay uh, keeps counting the stuff in his own house. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like he had the girls. He should have had two dudes at the at, at aunt mm-hmm. uh at all at, times. With the, with those two women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Counting that money. But that's what makes this movie mm-hmm. so with great. Shotties. Is mm-hmm. that it, it happened quick for like everybody. Yeah. Like money <clears throat> and violence and crime. Like it, it took people years to figure out how to properly do this, mm-hmm. you know, to make enough money to have the stash house to a recognize I'm going to need a stash house. Right. right. You know, he Learning didn't got women time. around yeah, the safe. He didn't see it coming. You had your safe there, yeah. right. and women there, and no guns, and right. no no protection. Because yeah. he didn't, he wasn't thinking. He wasn't think, thinking. I think that uh, Brother Ace was not fit for the job. No. He shouldn't He, he wasn't there. fit for, for leading. Leading the job for the violence element of it. Right. Yeah. Like in terms of in terms of moving the product and like smart you know, being low key extremely yeah. smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You definitely want that on the team. But you also have to especially when 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 crack came into the picture, that elevated the violence. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ele- elevate it just changed everything because heroin was you know, heroin they was doing that mm-hmm. since goddamn lucky Luciano and true, right, true, so, right. Now crack this, hit. this crack hit. Everybody could be making money. Fast. Everybody can be getting money, and and it was just like that's when you know any documentary you watch is like when crack hit the scene. That's when the bodies started coming. <laughs> right, every right. documentary. Right, it was, right. It was the Wild West out there, <laughs> yeah. and so uh, man, yeah. Uh-huh. So it was just like you know you had you had that element coming in. If you and if you weren't minded for it. Uh, you just you just got caught slipping mm-hmm. like Ace did, yep. horribly slipping. And I want to commend Wood Harris's performance because even though these are these are roles that he had Avon in the Wire, Ace uh-huh. and Payton Full, right. two similar you yep. know genres, right. the drug game, yep. two completely different two characters, completely uh-huh. different from the characters. same actor. Yes, the Avon actor. and Ace yes. are not the same. Not yes. the same, same guy. Mm-hmm. And it's yes. just like, man, this dude. And it's not like he did some drastic change to become nah. Avon. It's mm-hmm. a subtle, it's yeah. a subtle difference mm-hmm. that you can feel. It was also in the walk. It was also in the yeah. body language. Yeah. Yeah. It was, everything was. Yep. Mm-hmm. He, he blushed a lot. Mm-hmm. He did. <laughs> he blushed a lot in Page and Fool. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and uh and the wire, he he wasn't he wasn't Nino Brown. Right. But he was more mm-hmm. assertive. He, everything yeah. was cool. He was way more. He had way more confidence. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I think he had more control over his his savages. Yeah, when Avon. When Avon spoke, it took Stringer Bell years to mm-hmm. build up that confidence exactly. to go behind his back. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. Right. He had to um, slowly do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Was uh, so Stringer Bell was basically Mitch. Yeah. If they kept going. Well, well not saying that Mitch would ever uh, betray him. But like that was his right hand man, and, and honestly, Mitch is Avon. Because uh, remember when when a, uh, Stringer Bell wanted out of it, we can we can do legitimate businesses, we can do real so, estate. So so Stringer Avon Bell like, is Ace. I want my. Corners. I'm a gangster, I suppose. Yeah. That's what he said. And he I, was, want my I want my corners. I want my corners. Mm-hmm. And so Mitch is Avon. Right. Mm-hmm. Stringer Bell was more into the Ace mentality. That's crazy. And I love how they did that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I mean, that's based off true events too. 
the, mm-hmm. the wire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if a dude was so treacherous, he was he was willing by any means necessary, willing to go legit by even even getting his hands dirty and bloody mm-hmm. to go legit. That's what he was doing. He was yeah. killing off uh, D'Angelo. Yep. He was killing off uh, Walter or Wallace. Yeah. Uh, he was betraying his best friend, his mm-hmm. brother, yep. just to go right. Just, just to, to just, just to, to do legit, right, just to get right. Into legitimate to, business. Yeah, that's crazy. He saw what else was out there. And Avon was like the corners, man. Yeah, Damn, <laughs> the corners, my corners. Because if you think of it, like yeah. these, these politicians and you know businessmen are no mm-hmm. different than no these difference. drug dealers, right? Mm-hmm. Corners, know? they got districts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying districts, and they destroy mm-hmm. lives just as much as, as these drug dealers. Yeah, man. I mean that's why, like, again, we you know, there's all these sideshows that that we that we want to do, like things that we want to talk about, and like I want to do like a black drug lord like bracket ranking mm-hmm. like who like wh- out of all the black characters right who ran the tightest operation mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. like who who ran the tightest operation yeah. like avon like for me like absolutely has to be like a number one seat avon for sure it has yeah. to be a number one seat. not ace not ace not what does mm-hmm. nino get a number one seat no let me tell you why he started off but then you have to, a good leader knows how to manage his mm-hmm. people. Right. And mm-hmm. show respect while you lead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Give respect to the people who are under you. Right. And and, and still keep your dominance or your, yeah. assert your authority. Right. Like he, him, what he was doing with, uh, with G's girl and, yeah. you know what I'm saying, undermining them and stuff mm-hmm. like that. That's, that, that, that's eventually... Yeah. Saying, oh, this is mine. Yeah, but we built this together. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. The world is mine. Yep. That's what that's yeah. when he started messing yeah. up. Within, I, I, and that's 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 why, you know, G Money even brought mm-hmm. the outsider in is because yeah. of, mm-hmm. you know, his beef with Nino Brown. Yep. So, and Ice T can weasel his way into the organization right. because he wasn't showing respect. Scott. Right. And it was like, you know, Avon, you know, they they were, you know, the cops was catching them, but they had a well-oiled machine. They had a well-oiled yeah. oiled They didn't machine. even know what Avon looked like. That's they had the crazy. luckily <laughs> on the, right on the box on the boxing, on the boxing poster. poster. Yeah, that luckily crazy. they had yeah. a real cop mm-hmm. in there in Lester Freeman to be like, "Yo, yep. Golden Gloves." Yep. Without him, they would have never known. They wouldn't even know what he looked crazy, like. Crazy, bro. They wouldn't have known what he and looked like. And I feel like. like the only person that could compete with Avon Barksdale is Marlo Stanfield. The mm-hmm. Marlo. Because he ran it in a more menacing way, like he'll kill. He, he's more likely to kill yep. anybody. Yep. Right? You know, he, he was not straight up. Mm-hmm. But his organization was tight because of that fear. It's so yeah, interesting. Lo- it's such an interesting conversation. His soldiers were loyal, because, and yeah, yeah. Chris mm-hmm. and Snoop were loyal, right? And and you know, everybody was scared of everything see i like when i think about nino keisha and the dunham man right Mm -hmm. i draw a direct line to marlo chris and snoop yeah right Mm -hmm. because nino and marlo are malicious like that yeah evil like that Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. take them off you know like that right in a way that like avon wasn't that's why ace and avon like I'd i'd read a book about a breakdown between the two characters. And I know it's, you know, the easiest part is because they're played by the same actor. Yeah. But it's almost like the same person on different timelines, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like if Ace survives, he he grows into becoming Avon. I don't think Barksdale, about that. He comes, he grows right? into like becoming he, Avon. He, turn, he turns into Avon. But these are the lumps that he has to take at Lose this part in his friend. career yeah. in order to build the organization the way he needs to build it. He's still, he's still like 25. Yeah. I feel yeah. like he was. So at the most, twenty five years mm-hmm. old. What you right. think? Whoa, 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 what was? Uh, were you uh, honestly? I don't remember too much of the documentary or like the uh, the interviews with the real mm-hmm. a, um, AZ. How old was he in eighty seven, eighty six? I feel like he was in the early twenties. Yeah, yeah like twenty three. Because yeah. yeah. he's still around now. Like yep. it looked like he in his fifties, maybe yep. sixty right. tops. Right. So that's that's, I think he was be. born in like the sixties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. that's a, so. I, I think. What about Avon? Now Avon, it seemed like it seemed like his age was because I was trying to remember. It was a conversation uh, somebody had was like, "Yeah, I remember him from back in the day." Mm-hmm. So I was like, "How old is Avon?" It felt like he yeah. was he's in not his as 30s. old as Cuddy. He's not as old as Cuddy, and and right. Cuddy felt like mid thirties. 
I feel like, like I feel he, he, he he early forties, yeah, top. yeah, early forties. Like he, he Avon he looked like a, he was in his mid thirties. Yeah, yeah, Avon yeah. might have been 34, 33, 33. at the youngest, twenty nine. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? At but the I, youngest, right? At the beginning of the show, right? Because yeah. I'm saying because if if Bodie and them are let's say eighteen, that's what yeah. I'm saying, right? Like you know if we if we use you know Bodie and and Pook, and Pook yeah. as, as the the low barometer at eighteen. Wallace is fourteen. Right. Wallace, Wallace, Wallace is forty. Young. He's he was fourteen. Younger, yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's a ten year gap between yeah. Bodie and Avon. Angelo's like nineteen, right? Yeah, nineteen, a little bit a year L- older than L- Bodie, a yeah. little bit younger, a little bit yeah. older than than Bodie, right? So, yeah. so I would say that like Avon had to be at least ten years older than than Bodie, which yeah. would put him like early thirties. Yeah, early mom's 30s. Look, yeah, because mm-hmm. yep. mom's mom yeah. didn't look too old either. Right, yeah. and that was his oldest sister. Older sister, fascinating. She was crazy. Yeah, and. and uh, mm-hmm. And that's crazy. It was Sissy. Franklin's mom. Sissy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That was dope. <laughs> right. I, that, that's, right. that's not by accident, I guarantee you. Absolutely. That's not by accident. Yeah, somebody's done that. Somebody's like, let's, let's bring her in. Mm-hmm. And she's dope. And, and she's strong. And Franklin's pops is in page four. Yeah. Come on now. I still don't like Dang. it. Right? Like, <laughs> that's right. He's one of those yeah. characters. That's right. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. I'm, I, I, did, I did, hey. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Tony Baker. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And Calvin was great, by the way. Yeah, I hated him. For sure. For but sure. Uh, he's people a, were playing their roles, and man. Yeah. And the, the movie was so great to me because there was no stars. Do, do you think was well, well, Clockers kind of put him on? Yeah. Yeah. So, was but was moment. he at the time? Could you have gotten a bigger cast than than um, uh, Wood or? Um, Makai. Makai. I think it totally would take away from what we like about this movie. Of course. That's my point. Right. Yeah. My point, I don't, a lot of times now when people think about let's get a movie, I have a script here. Boom. All right. Let me get somebody attached to it. Mm-hmm. Right. Let me get Will Smith. Yeah. Oh, uh, too old. Okay. Let me get somebody between 30 and 40. Michael B. Duncan. I mean, my, Michael B. Uh, Michael, uh, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Oh, now here I'm Keith Sanchez. Someone, these guys are already established. Right. And, I look at these great films and well, was Makai Michael B. Jordan yet? At that time, was it 2002? 2002. So we already had Soul Food, which was a hit. Mm-hmm. We already Damn. had we okay. had Clocker's Soul Food. Uh, he was in Othello. Othello was oh yeah. He was in I know what you did. Uh, last summer sequel. Like he right. was he was the guy. Like he yeah. was bubbling out here. Like, okay, you know, and Wood and Wood, Wood. You know Wood. We knew from uh, at that time. You know he was showing up and above the rim, above the rim was like when I first knew oh, yeah. Wood mm-hmm. Harris. Yeah. So, and that's I'm sorry. Continue. Please. Yeah. So it, it was just like. Uh, you know, just seeing him in roles then, like he wasn't a draw, or like a big star, but he was just like a good. That's crazy. Solid actor that you he count. was. He was in Above the Rim. Above, yeah, as we, the muscle, yeah, we did as the muscle. As the muscle. And he was a savage. As the muscle. Was. And then cut his mustache and, and round his shoulders. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he's ace. Yeah, ace. what's up, man? What's yeah, good? yeah. <laughs> He's like, that's why I'm, I'm a soldier. Like, yeah, you gotta uh, be soldier. Yeah, I'm saying, you gotta gotta go. shut the fuck up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, if you if he you cast anybody else in that in, in 2002, I think it I think it fundamentally changes the movie, right? Like because none of the big stars that were out, like if we think about like if Omar Epps is in this movie, does it fundamentally change this movie, right? Because Omar was was would have been bigger. He already, than, he already did Juice, right? right? You know, like I think it cha- it changes Program. the movie. I think the fact that uh, that these guys were relative unknowns, you know, Makai was probably the biggest star yeah, 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 uh, out of all of them sure. at the time. But because everybody else is relative, it makes it more believable. And yeah. believe it or not, I'm so happy Cameron was in that. I think yeah. Cameron killed. Oh, Cameron! He that did. was a hell of a debut. Mm-hmm. That was a hell of a debut, bro. I believed every you know molecule yeah. of. Everything for that he sure. did, he was. Legit. They did a good and he's job. He's from Harlem. Yeah, and he's from Harlem, mm-hmm. and um. And I'm thinking to myself, like they, could, you could tell they were like, okay, let's get some rappers in here, let's get yeah. Cameron, and, and and if Cameron did a bad job, then you would think, okay, they just got this guy in there because he's Cameron, right? right? As opposed to nah, bro, this dude killed it. Yeah, he mm-hmm. killed it. You tough, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know what you need. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Get you some rest. <laughs> yeah, get you, get you some know, soup. Get some tea. Yeah. Yeah. tea. Get some tea. Yeah, right. even Great Wood. Lines. I Great wonder lines. if that was in the script because you saw Wood break a little bit. Yeah, he was he like, was, mm-hmm. oh, man. <laughs> he had a little smirk. Yeah. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Yeah. Right. All right. 
or, or uh, Cameron was uh, was uh, ad libbing, ad libbing, yeah, and start doing, start helping him with the yeah. blanket, and he didn't yeah. expect that. So I feel like he broke a little bit, bro. Man, right? I use that line. Damn, oh, I use it with my kid. You be all right. Yeah, you be all right. People right. get shot every day, B. Yeah, people get shot every day, B. Hey, bro. <laughs> uh, food, <laughs> food always adds an extra element uh-huh. for me. It, it makes everything just uh-huh. hit more for me. Yeah. Like, even in the beginning when they're eating the Chinese food uh, and they having that whole conversation and uh-huh. they start to put the money up for the shot. Yep. And yeah. I was just like, yo, I love this he scene. Shit, right? I ain't bring no gift for him, right? So I went up there, <laughs> took the whole cake, shoved it in his face. Shoved yeah. mush it in his face, yo. <laughs> ask, ask me the question. <laughs> ask me again. He was, he was eating. Yeah, ask so, so what what happened to you? No, no. You said you you shoved the whole cake in his face. Oh yeah, you shoved the whole cake in his face. Whole face, whole cake. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, small nuances like that Man. make me laugh, bro. Yeah. And I feel like his story kind of bombed mm-hmm. with his audience. They were uh-huh. just right. like. You know, because he was building it up. Right. He was like, "Why are you do that?" Yeah, you know, man? Like, he said, "We we we looking at you like you crazy." Man. Yeah, right. what the fuck you do that for? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm just a short nigga, man. Love, man. What yeah. the fuck you talking about? We was just like, all right. And that, that lets yeah. you know off the top who Rico was, mm-hmm. what kind of character right. this is uh-huh. out the gate. Let's play a game real quick. So, um, in terms of performances by rappers uh-huh. in their Ooh. feature film debut. Ooh, I like where this is going. Where does, where does Cameron right up rank? There with Tupac. Right up there with Pac, right up there with Ice Cube mm-hmm. and Boys mm-hmm. in the Hood. Yeah. Uh, I want I want to argue that Ice Cube is probably number one yeah. rapper, actor, debut. Mm-hmm. I put him over Pac simply because I didn't know Pac was a rapper when Juice came out. Really? Mm-hmm. I did not know because, you know, th- this was before Tupacalypse Now. No, mm-hmm. what, what was the first album? Tupacalypse Now. Right? Oh, but see so the thing. Okay. I didn't know him from Digital Underground's right. Allegiance. Right. Oh. Ice Cube was already an established rap Rapper. superstar yep. going into a movie. So we, uh, we, I, I knew all about the Digital Underground. Keep I smooth. did. Yeah. Now yeah. yeah. You back. We on the West Coast. Tupac, yeah, I didn't West know. Coast, yeah. yeah, so and I, so when I saw Brenda's got a baby after I saw Juice, well, I was like, oh, he's from, rapping now. From Juice, yeah, yeah, he rapping now. Rapping now. Yeah, this is from Juice. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right, right. So I'm thinking he's an actor yeah. rapper now. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. As opposed to yeah. Ice Cube was a star in yeah. the rap game, mm-hmm. so we just like I think Ice Cube's Doughboy is number one. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I I would I would pay I would pay per view to see Ice Cube's Doughboy versus Tupac's Bishop. Because I put Bishop yeah. as number two. And then number three, like, I kind of want to put Cameron there. Here's the thing. I'm okay with that. but I And I'm and it's crazy because as biased as you think I would be, mm-hmm. yeah. I got to give it to Tupac. I feel it. Over Doughboy because I think his performance was better. I'm not, not mad not, at and I, Ice Cube's performance was great. Right. But he didn't have to do as much. Right. He didn't Acting have to wise, do as it was much. less. Mm-hmm. less we had we we saw Tupac this is a play very the Buster. Good point. Yeah. We saw Tupac play the tough guy. Mm-hmm. We saw Tupac get punked by uh uh what what was his Rodimaz. name? Rodimaz. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we saw different. We, we saw, saw different gears. Even when he shot um, Raheem. Yeah. And how he tripped and how he he had to go from like. I'm sorry to like I'm savage again in the same you scene. Saw that he, he he made a move. Yeah, yeah. You know he was saying? just like, well, you know, right. Very good so point. I feel like that kind of like I think he did a better job. No, not, I won't say better. I think that his his performance was stronger because of what his character had to do. Yeah, I what, what he was asked to do about Pac though in that movie. It was a hard shift between. The first half of the movie, when it's just a coming of age, black stand by me, like, it was like he switched so hard, I didn't fully buy it. Mm-hmm. It was just like, why would you turn on your friends this that quickly? Fast. Yeah. So it was just like, it was too yeah. much of a hard shit. Is that shit. his mm-hmm. performance or that directing? That that had to do with the writing of the script, right, but right, it was right. still performance-wise, he, he did yeah, his thing. Yeah. I agree but with you, though. it was just like, why did he turn, like, why did he get so murderous mm-hmm. that fast? That, yeah. I but agree. Doughboy though, Doughboy felt like a real human being. Felt like a True. real human. He felt like, he a, felt real like a real person human. that you know he he mm-hmm. hood. He, he'll kill you if need be, but mm-hmm. he don't want to. But if need be, if you we push got a problem him there, we got a problem. Yeah, I slide y'all here. niggas right now. But if you want it, if you, you can want have it. it. You know but saying? I don't really want mm-hmm. it. But let me let you know what you're not gonna do. Mm-hmm. Right, right, and right. so and then. To see him, uh, you know, push to a limit to where he had to go handle business and to actually handle the business business and to look remorseful after the business was handled, Mm -hmm. Uh it was just, 
Yeah. It, it was so it was so layered and and understated. Mm-hmm. And I feel like he felt the most human to me. I like, mm-hmm. you know, I like it. When, I like it. Doe boys like the 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 lighter parts of, of Boys in the Hood where yeah. he's just joking around. Right. You know what I mean? Well, God was a bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your dad is like, no, got to eat fucking totally yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, just a more layered, like, you right. know, because because Pox Bishop is, to your point, like a, like a sociopath. Right. Like, almost, yeah. I was about to say almost unrealistic, but yeah. no, it's not. It's niggas out there that's tripping. That's like tripping. That. Right. But, but, um, I, I agree. There was a super, super, super hard switch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think the switch would, it wasn't really a switch with Rico. Yeah. Bringing it back to pay the fool. Right. He Rico, was... he was just that type of guy. Right. And he was just, just he was destructive. Mm-hmm. He had your back. One thing Rico would, like, mm-hmm. he's going to bust his gun for you for right. sure. Right. Right. But don't let him start starving. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. he'll turn on you. He'll do anything. Like the dog. Like, that fast like and, the dog in the house. We weren't surprised yeah. mm-hmm. when he just blasted Mitch. Right. Shot him yeah. in the gut. Boom. Mm-hmm. He's you got 14 bricks in there? Oh, man. I said, nah. And Mitch, so I feel so oh, bad yeah. for Mitch. Man. He had no, he thought he had a loyal brother. For like, real. Yeah, bro, we're going to be, we're back. For yeah. real. We're going to get this ransom, get my little man back, and then we're going to be back in, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Bam. But we go. Opportunist, opportunist, yeah, and opportunist. He, he was an always an opportunist. He, and Rico and Mitch should have saw that from the he from jail. He should have saw it from jail. So yeah. he so, should have known. Like I this nigga's a higher. He's higher for. Dude. He's a higher um, mercenary. Even the conversation that they had with Ace, right? He posted up on the couch, recovering from the thing, and it's like, yo, we need to get. They were. They were both like, we the need to get we back in for? this. Mm-hmm. But Mitch's temperament towards Ace. They had more of a conversation. It was just like, I see where you're coming from. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mitch is like, I do need this, but I also know. And Mitch is a real friend. Exactly. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, a real yeah. one. It, yeah. it, he was a real one. So it was just like, dang, man. Mm-hmm. And, the, and to see the desperation because the the you know the little brother was kidnapped. And so you talk seeing about that. that and it's and, just like, and that scene right there. That scene, Makai it Fife got me. Boy. I watched it the other day. I watched it yesterday. Yeah. I was like, ooh. Man, that scene that when he scene. kicked ice out, Makai did such a great job with he Mitch. Mm-hmm. I felt that when he kicked his uncle out, yeah, it was so many emotions. He was going right. anger towards his uncle. Yep, and uncle was the big uncle that that gave him real bars. Right, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. But also was the shitty person in his life too. Yeah. Absolutely. And he had to sit. His his little brother saw him have that conversation. Yeah. And his mm-hmm. little brother probably loved his uncle. He right. don't even know what's going on. Right. I'm sorry you had to see that little bro. I yeah. Eat. You know what I'm saying. And then the mom is mad. You kicked him out the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you like? This ain't, this ain't even your house. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so and, I, I, I in that moment when he was standing standing in the hallway, he was just sitting there taking. He was just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I think he felt like even when his response to his conversation in the in the car with Ace, like I don't know what to do. Yeah, like this yeah. Is that important. vulnerability, like yeah. that's, that's what I, I love, love that. about Peyton Ford. That's why yeah. so dope. Characters. Yeah. yeah, Mitch was not one note. He, he wasn't just a gangster, you right? Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, drug dealer. He was like a, a big brother. He loved his brother, right? And he didn't ball like a baby. No. Yeah. it took him a minute to start to shed that right. tear. He mm-hmm. was like, he had to really take. He had to. He took an account like, "What's really happening? This yeah. is real." Nigga, and I feel be- helpless right now, and for him to actually express say that, that, say like, that, yeah, that that mm-hmm. that was that was profound. Yeah, from bro. from a that movie was a great, like that, that, a great scene from me. a tough character. And he and mm-hmm. he he also verbalized any nigga that's looked at me funny, yeah. owes me money, yeah. And that's how a lot of these gangsta niggas yes. be out there. They be having great so much pain scene. pent up, right? Anybody look at them crazy, they just start. They want to bust their gun at right. anybody because they got yeah. so much pain going on. Great yep. scene, yeah. Oh, One last quick fantastic. point before we get into the awards, yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, what do you guys think about Rico's code? Right, he had a code. Uh-huh. He'd kill, but he wouldn't snitch. Oh yeah, right. He'll snitch in but DC then, though, but not not in Harlem where he's yeah, from. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Like. That I found that weird, yeah, like oddly weird. Where like he'll he'll rob his man, right? Kill his man, yeah, but love his hood, right? Like you know, because it's all about the facade. Yeah, he was like, because he, he, I'll, I'll snitch in DC, right? I'm with nobody in Harlem because when yeah. I get out, I'm I, still gonna be the man, still yeah. be the king, and that's really what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Mitch and Mitch still want to be. He want that stage, right? Rico mm-hmm. wanted that stage, and you can't have that stage if you a snitch. Yep. Even right. though, even though you was the snakiest of the snakes, mm-hmm. with your man that put you on, you <laughs> shot him. P. 
people get shot in the state. Shot man. You shot in the cold blood. Said that. Yo, what is, I'm, I'm surprised nobody did that edit yet. Yeah. People get shot every day being cut to him shooting Mitch. Man. Right, right. Come on. Can we get into some awards? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. So we're going to, let's get into some awards. Let's start with who's the MVP of the movie. Ooh. So this can be either who gave the best performance or the one, the, the engine that makes the movie work. Who is your MVP of Paid in Full? Dang. This is tough. <sighs> That's a tough one. Because <laughs> hmm. this, this, is, this is a great trio. Like when, right. you, when you look at the post of the movie, it's just the three heads there. Mm-hmm. And you just like, because mm-hmm. each, each character is different. Yep. Right. And they bring a lot to the movie mm-hmm. itself. Mm-hmm. So it's tough, man. Ain't, ain't, ain't really no weak link here, but I'm going to just pick. I'm going to just pick on the strength of the iconic nature of of the movie itself. Now, you would think I would go Rico because he got all those quotables. Mm-hmm, you right. shot every day, B. But mm-hmm. you know Pull your skirt saying? down, B. Right, right. <laughs> Great line. <laughs> Pull your skirt down, B. But I'm going with Makai Pfeiffer. Okay. Okay. Simply because he encompassed so much in a character. Mm-hmm. Like, like I was just saying, layered. He's a tough dude. He can handle business when need be. He'll come up and shoot up the place. He'll sock you out if you run up on him in the mm-hmm. prison phone yard, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Yes. But also, he has a heart. He cares about his family, his little brother. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? You know his motives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to do this because, you know, I love the stage, B. This is me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And to see him go through those different uh, emotions with his uncle, yeah. And then, like like we said in the car, feeling vulnerable, helpless, mad, angry, mm-hmm. and then uh, and just having those iconic moments. And he felt authentic to the actual movie because he's also from New York. Right, so right. It was just all the beats were there, mm-hmm. and he just looked like success. Like he looked like when you look at Mitch, you see the fresh lineup. The, mm-hmm. the you you believe yeah. every molecule. Yeah, so it, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Mitch. Feels like hip hop. Yeah, it Mitch, felt like uh, yes. Feels like yeah. hip hop. Could have been Jay Z. Who's your MVP? Mitch. Mitch. Yeah. Mitch for those same reasons. Uh, I just feel like he was the voice of. He was not the equivalent because there's a lot. Of, you you think of street hustlers. You think of game bangers, and I know a lot of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In my lifetime, growing up. Never was one, but I, I knew I saw I know some of them when I was a kid that grew up to be men. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these dudes just, I remember you when you were just an innocent dude. You were yeah. just a kid, bro. I remember mm-hmm. us playing on our bikes and uh, jungle gyms and shit like that. Right. And he just he just looked like a person that even more so than Ace. Ace was a regular dude that turned into a street dude. Mm-hmm. Right. And Mitch was a street dude that he relished. He was okay with it. Right. He got his hands dirty when he felt like he was being robbed. Yep. One of his guys got robbed. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he also was just a player, dude. Cool, calm, yep. collected, took care of his family, mm-hmm. loved his little brother. Um, and I feel like he was just a, a, the quintessential Harlem dude. Yep. Right. Not a bad person, but he was doing bad things. Yeah. But like I feel like the hood, good kid, Mad City. I love that term now. That, shout out to Kendrick. Yeah. I think that's a good, I think that's a good same thing for um AZ, a, a, Ace, Ace yeah, as well. Good kid, Mad City but sure. because yeah. because we never seen Ace really get dirty with right, it. Right. You exactly. know what I'm saying? We know Mitch was with the business. Mm-hmm. He right. also was was gentle and it was cool and he was a a, a good dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To my knowledge. From a, from a, from the hood point of view, Mitch was a good dude. Right, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. He did. He, he wasn't trying to cut nobody out of no deals. Right, to cut yeah. nothing. So he gets my. Uh, and I think that Ace shouldn't have been the leader. I agree. Mm-hmm. I, and I really I feel, feel like low key <clears throat> Mitch led from the second from the second tier. I mean, I'm yep. not second tier from the, from second in command. I think he led. Most yeah, of them, you know for saying? sure. But boom, for sure. My MVP. I'm giving it to Ace. Okay. Okay. Um, but really, I'm kind of giving it to Wood. Right? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because I just thought- Avon. Yeah. I'm giving it to Avon. Right, right, right. <laughs> Got all the characters with <laughs> right, his play. Uh-huh. He just was a f- just fantastic acting choices. Yeah. The, and and I, think, I think the way he plays Ace makes me care about these characters. Facts. Mm-hmm. And I kind of sure. start caring about everybody yeah. that I don't know, like- Makai did such a great job with Mitch. And I think we all ride with Mitch. We all like yes, Mitch, yes, 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 yes. right? Yeah. Um, but Avon brings the care factor in. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah. Like, And so just the way that he played things before he got into the game, in the game, after yeah. he got shot, like he's just a 
powerhouse oh, yeah, in, in sure. this movie. I so relate I, to him the most. Yeah, as, as, I've as never seen a kingpin or a young guy going into his kingpin his kingpin lifestyle mm-hmm. played that way. Yeah, he still had a humbleness about him. Right, absolutely. He still had a a a, a, a um a vulnerability. Uh, he had like an innocence about him. Yeah, mm-hmm. he did. Like the he whole did even when he saw dude shoot. He saw Rico shoot dude in the ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He it was very subtle, but yeah, he wasn't okay it. with that. Yeah. He wasn't, you but he. Saw under, but I think in this, uh, what I saw mm-hmm. on his face, his his demeanor was damn. It, that had to happen. Yeah. yeah, I don't like it. Though. I don't like exactly. it. I don't like this part of the job. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, he does really good. Okay, I identify with him the most as a human being. Yeah, that was definitely Ace but yeah. for sure. So let's go to the to the least valuable player. Oh man, you know which, it could be anybody in the film. Anybody in the film. Oh, I, I, from an acting standpoint, from an acting standpoint, character standpoint, you you what what was not working? What was the least value? What could not be removed working? from this movie? Oh, and Dane Dash, one hundred percent happy. With it? Dane Dash, <laughs> it's I, I love this. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. He was. I loved it because he's a Harlem nigga. This is my, yeah. Thursday, this is my Thursday call. Man. Yeah. This is my Thursday call. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, but those scenes, that scene for sure. Wasn't necessary, but I love the scene. Right, it didn't have to go there. Calvin's character needed to be there. Yeah, Calvin, uh, Az, Ace's sister needed to be there for yeah. Calvin to be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Even the mom having her son tell him, "Don't call me Lucky no more." She yeah. needed to be there, so she oh, was yeah, necessary. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the little boy Sonny needed to be there. Ice needed to be there. Ice yeah. was very pivotal to the to the yeah, plot. He great. was. You know what I'm saying? Great, great, great performance too. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. Well, oh, he killed you it. Saw the, every time. You saw the the, the jealousy yes. build. Mm-hmm. Yep. The you resentment. The resentment. Yeah. Yep. You know. And then they gave him good lines. They gave him yeah. that, that scene. And him telling me, "You got a pocket full of money, and you think two uh, two bags of groceries right. every now and then is yeah. going right." And that was a good for him to see. Yeah. Uh, good for me to see as a view as a as a uh, as a uh, a viewer. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with just on the pure because we I was looking at the performance last night. We was kind of like mm. Mitch's mom. <laughs> oh, she just didn't do it from yeah. a, from an acting standpoint. Uh-huh. It was, like they had a scene in the kitchen when she found out that uh, her son was missing. Mm-hmm. It, it mm-hmm. just didn't work. No, from her performance. Uh huh. You know, Makai was mm-hmm. doing his thing, but mm-hmm. it was just like. Uh, mm-hmm. I was just like, mm, they could have mm-hmm. did another take on yeah. her end. Okay, yeah. that's the only. That's the only. Now I gotta Nick. go back and watch it again. Yeah. Now I'm studying. Like, that's what the only Nick I can think about? of because even even with the Dame Dash or the Nori mm-hmm. uh, cameo, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll take Nori. Kind of, yeah, I'll take I would Dame. take Nori before Dame. Take, yeah. take, take Nori you? out. Take yeah, take Nori out. Keep mm-hmm. Dame, yeah. yeah. Because I think we needed those moments of just like flash and flood. Two baller mm-hmm. niggas in the same yeah. city yeah. getting yeah. money. Show us, show mm-hmm. us that. Mm-hmm. Friendly that little, competition. Yeah, that little petty yeah. side of, of Harlem and being yeah. flashy. For me, oh, that's true. Yeah. For me, it was the the undercover cops. I was oh. gonna say that. I was gonna say that. But at the end, it made sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. they waited to the end to yeah. show their significance. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because at first, I was like, "What are these niggas?" They yeah. and I love the fact that these guys. Were they they did they did a good job of showing that they were cops but not trying yeah. to be cops. Yeah. Undercover. He was like, Why do you think it's like so nervous? They were yeah. so corny. They, they was were goofy. Terrible they were goofy. Cops, man. Right. Right. Like 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 the worst. They were terrible yeah. at their job. <laughs> right. Right. I don't know. How cops. did they not get killed already? Yeah. Man, they they felt shot out. first day. Hey man, what's going they on? They showed yeah, up the turtle yeah. next yeah. week. That's, that's the thing. I I on on the on the watch, I remember thinking like the they've made such fantastic decisions yeah. in every part of this film. Right. Right? Like the <laughs> setting. But it must have been like a replacement the day that these guys were on set. Like their, was the, like, hey, their hair choices extras. were off. Their, their clothes were off. Like everything like. But just, I think their clothes were supposed to be off. <laughs> because because, because they, off. Yeah. Do you remember in The Wire? Mm-hmm. Where the dude was going, he was doing his first his first gig as an undercover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and his, so his shoes were clean. Yeah, oh, and yeah. they was like, "Oh no, nah, bro, you about to get killed? You about to you about to ruin yeah. the whole operation?" Bubble yeah. Bubble schooled him to the game, yeah. right? Yeah. Bubble school. Yeah, he is, mm-hmm. he's a cop. No, yeah, like if I'm, I feel like if I was a cop, mm-hmm. I would be a great undercover cop. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think I I I think I can get into the the uh the, the crew. Right. Mm-hmm. And then not, you know, like I Ice T was a great undercover cop. He just happened to be seen mm-hmm. by uh was it Raheem Akbar? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, brother from the Williams. Williams. He Christopher happened Williams, to yeah. he Christopher Williams character. He happened to see him earlier right. two years ago. He saw him mm-hmm. bust uh, Chris Rock. Yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. If outside of that, I don't think he would have been found out. He was a great yeah. undercover cop, and they did a good job of showing him being a, a, a street, a young hood dude that right. was going to play a cop. That mm-hmm. reason with his mom, he was he was raised well, but he was still raised in in the inner city. Right. So he was a hood dude. These yeah. cops in Payton Full oh was like, yeah. these niggas from the upstate. They, yeah, absolutely. They from Maine. They got, them from Maine guys, or, got them guys from Columbia. <laughs> right. right. Like, you know, can go in and pretend they just they, on, they did not they did not fit. They were totally unbelievable, mm-hmm. both like on screen and off screen. They were too nice. Yeah. Don't nobody nice. in the streets run up on Ace. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, hey man, how you guys doing, man? You got some work? Right. Come on, man. Like Omar Epps' character in Into Deep. I was just about to bring right. him up. Oh, Jay Reed. Yeah, Jay, Jay Reed. <laughs> Jay Reed. He like, looked the part. Yeah. Yeah. Like doing another ranking. Like, right. you know, he's a number one seed on um undercover cop. Like believable undercover cop. What like about Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Deep Fishburne. Cover. Deep cover. Deep cover. We're gonna have to, oh, we gotta oh, put that one on the list. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That on the he list. was good you know at deep cover. Yeah. For sure. Oh. Who wins your overacting award? Is there Ooh. an overacting award for this movie? Um the nigga that got stripped down. Oh, the one that ran off out of the cut. <laughs> <laughs> what are you running like that for, bro? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you that he ran like uh like uh DJ Pooh, like ran for Friday. He ran <laughs> he down the did. street. Flimsy arm. Yeah. <laughs> Overacting. Man. Uh it wasn't a lot of it in this movie, yeah, man. I that's know. that's one it thing I love about Peyton Ford because like like I was saying earlier, it feels so understated. Right. Um, kind of subdued in a sense. Mm-hmm. Um like when you get a character like Rico, he kind of pops off the page because everything else about the movie is so low key. Mm-hmm. Uh, overacting, dang man, it's a, it was a solid film, bro. Yeah. That's why I had to go with the goofy nigga running yeah. down the street. Yeah, I had to reach. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> it was we a had reach. To, we had to the only, up. the only, I oh, didn't. I got one. You got one. Okay, go. The, the dude who wanted to get Mitch off the phone. He was just too oh, angry, yeah, nigga. He yeah, was just yeah. too angry, man, in that yeah, moment. They got the phone, true. and then they showed him, yeah. and I was yeah. like, all right, man, <laughs> relax. This guy do it? I yeah. wasn't, <laughs> ass, nigga. I wasn't feeling Calvin. What? Oh. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. There's this one scene, there's this one scene wow. where Calvin walks to the door, looks back. That's, and I love that scene. I love it. I love thing. it. But that oh, shit with is the just, sister. Yeah. 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 No, when, he, when, he, when he was talking, when he was talking about trying to put Ace on, right? Yeah. Like, you know, and he leaned in, so he walks to the door, he turns, and he pulls out the I money. I needed that. I love that scene too, but yeah, it was so like cheesy and corny. But that's, that, I can see. So if Mitch, is, yeah. at that point. I did that Ace, for years. At that point, right. <laughs> that Ace is what, 20, mm-hmm. 21? Yeah. And this dude, Calvin, is 24. Yeah. yeah. 25. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he's still a boy. Yeah. I mean, no, no, but 25, you're still a man. Yeah. But if you, if you grew up in Harlem and that's all you do is that street mm-hmm. shit, like, yeah. that's still like nanny, nanny, boo, boo. Yeah. That, I thought that was hilarious because I could see Calvin's been knowing Ace since they were 10 years old right. and mm-hmm. six. Yeah. And they've been knowing each other for a long time. Right. So it's almost like that kid, yeah. that kid came out again, like, yeah, trying to tell you, bro, this is money. This is where the money at. Let's do yeah. one more before we go to the to the okay. fist. You're twenty twenty two. Ooh. Recast. Oh, How would you snap. recast Real quick, this movie? I want to answer that. Mm-hmm. I've I, I love the fact that Regina Hall was in this, and oh, I yeah. wish and um this this movie could have been a love story. She's my yeah. favorite. I think that her 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 chemistry even with Wood was great. That yeah, little scene they had in the in the restaurant. Come mm-hmm. on, that cafe. Perfect scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I believe every molecule. She's so good. She's so, she's so, she's a so good. Threat. She can do drama and comedy. Yeah, in that's what She does comedy yeah. so well. Yeah, she's right. hilarious. She yep. does comedy and so then, well. When you when you see her reaction to Mitch being killed when he mm-hmm. came in that apartment mm-hmm. and she broke down. Oh, yep. man. She can't even talk. Yeah. 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 Tour de force. Yes. Top tier. Okay. She's a top no, tier. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> this man's crazy. Um, yeah. Top uh, tier. Bro. So recasting now? Yeah. How would we recast this? Um, Lakeith Stansfield is playing Ace. Okay. That's a great call. I like uh-huh. it. That's a great like call. Yeah. Um, I like that. The dude just playing Mike Tyson on Hulu. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's playing um Mitch. Okay. Um 
I know who's, exactly who you're talking about, mm-hmm. but I can't think of his name. Who's right playing now. Rico? Rico would have to be played by uh, uh give me a, it would have to be a young a young New York guy. Mm-hmm. Um who's New York Dave East is too tall. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he, I think at this point, Dave East, he's already a method man in, in the yeah. yeah, but uh he's too big of a guy, six five and like and kind of subdued. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's, he's he he would be more like a chill. Mitch. He would be yeah. more like yeah. a yeah, he's yeah. Um uh ooh, nah. Uh, what's his name? The dude that played uh, uh, Raekwon in that, but I, yeah, oh, but oh, I, I kind of uh, want him to be a rapper still. Mm-hmm. Though. I, I kind of want to recast it as a rapper. Yeah. That can, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. But but I think that whole Wu Tang Clan, the uh, that whole series cast could fit very nicely yeah. into a paid and full except remake. RZA. Except except bless his heart, man. Yeah. But, uh, no, yeah, like uh, uh, that guy. I feel like he he messed up when he tried to do the RZA's accent. Yeah. in the yeah. second season, yeah. he was doing fine before. The but then it was season. just like, I I agree with your your Lakeith and the uh, why can't I think of Tyson's name? It's just, it's just not Gervonta or something. Something Rhodes, it's some, right? Trevante Rhodes, Rhodes or something. I like think that. some of that. Mm-hmm. He's nice. He's he's dope with yeah. it. You say him as Mitch? Oh yeah, Trevante Rhodes. Trevante Rhodes. Mm-hmm. He. I feel like I need. I haven't seen the Tyson joint just mm-hmm. because Tyson didn't approve of it, so I, I didn't mm-hmm. step over there. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I feel like I need to see Trevante in something with more, I guess, layered up. He was in. He, he, he was in a, Moonlight. He was in Moonlight. Mm-hmm. Was it Moonlight? You Moonlight? Yeah. He was, he was a. He was a a frat dude in the um, Burning Sands. He didn't have a like, mm-hmm. he, he, didn't, he didn't have a big role. Yeah, but he was like a big brother in Burning Sands. He was yeah. like one of the Pledge brothers, mm-hmm. and he had like he was like the smooth dude. Yeah. I could see him. Playing he could that. play Mitch. You know, who, he could play Mitch. Who he could be Mitch, but I kind of want somebody that could pop in the angry moments mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. still be kind of less menacing than Javante. Yeah, because yeah, Javante can't be menacing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you know, I, I'm gonna go. This could be left field. Mm-hmm. This is doing, but Columbus Short as Mitch. Mm. I haven't seen Columbus in a long time. But he was one of my top guys. Yeah, and he has those gears because yeah. Columbus Short. My favorite role of his mm-hmm. is in Cadillac Records. Little Walter as Little Walter. Yep. Here's the thing. That's why I got you on the show. Bro. Yep. <laughs> and, 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 and I, I appreciate you, bro. You we don't spend a lot of time together, bro. But you are you, man. You the man, bro. <laughs> I pr- the bro. You you too because you brought up uh you brought up um sprung, sprung. <laughs> yes sir we, we we doing all those films we can be sprung sprung um, yeah. and uh but yes little Walter mm-hmm. I said oh he's a star yeah. yeah I knew he was I knew he was I knew he was dope I saw the uh, uh stomp the yard I mm-hmm. get it mm-hmm. but when I saw him a little Cadillac Walter records, and man. he pulled that character together yeah. Yep. And I watched. I looked at old pictures of Little Walter. I listened to his music. I was like, mm-hmm. "Oh, yeah." He has so many He's gears good. in that movie. Yes, and I feel like that role for him is supremely overlooked. Yeah, I think that movie as a whole is overlooked. Yeah, but I can see. Him I want movie. him to I get like another him shot more now. I, yeah, because it's like you can see. I can see Columbus Short getting angry with the uncle. Yeah, yeah. being flashy, being cool, mm-hmm. sitting there on the car as yep, Ace right. is playing basketball. Yep. No, you know yep. I don't like to yeah. get sweaty. Yep. I can see yeah. all of this coming from yes. Columbus mm-hmm. Short. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and then as far as a rapper, I want it's got to be a cocky New York. Right. I'm yeah. thinking like uh, Troy Ave. I was here to think. I was Troy thinking Ave. Troy Ave. Troy I was like, is he big enough? Mm-hmm. He's not. Kind, he, he was and a that's camera. the only thing. He might not be. But so, yes, I'm gonna throw I promise one you, I would think it's Troy Ave. I Troy promise Ave. you, I said, so but he's big enough a camera on New was. York. Right. Tor- what about Tory Lanez? Ah, uh, nah, I'm, I'm just yeah. leaving it. Yeah, yeah I know. Nah. Just cause he, nah. well, and he's too little. Yeah, he's, he's, too, too, little. he's too little. The, the, the thread that I was pulling at was the extreme... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like yeah. personality wise, like he seems disloyal, right? Like he yeah. seems right, like, right, right. he seems shady. He seems like a little weasel. He like yeah. A weasel. But, yeah, I don't believe him. I don't believe him as a yeah. tough guy. No. Yeah. I feel like the guy that he pulled out the car would whoop the would beat the brakes off yeah. Lanes. No, yeah. no, no disrespect to Brother Lanes. Yeah. Yeah. But uh <laughs> I love, I'm a fan of your music. I, yeah. I dig your music, brother. But uh, but, but but I don't can't see play Rico. You, not, not nah, Rico. Rico yeah. too his personality and his aura was too big. Mm-hmm. He, and Rico makes me nervous. 
Yeah. And he's a little dude compared right. to me. Right. But Rico's the type of dude you don't know. He's like a little pit bull terrier. You don't yeah. know what he's going to do. Don't yep. know what he's you know going to do. He's off a, the he's leash. A, he, he's off the, off the leash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he just, he's he's going he's gonna to bust his gun when you don't even need to. Right. You don't even mm -hmm. need to do it. You're going to still do it. Yep. That's him. Tory Lanez mm -hmm. is, I, I, I had to see him act, yeah. first of all. Yeah. Well, I've I, I never seen camera act either. We, he just was, did it so well. It was just him, yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was a big risk. Okay, let's get let's get to the rankings, right? All right. We're going to rank this movie. Five Black Fists makes it a classic. Okay. One Black Fist means, like, we happy black people made money, right? Right. <laughs> so on a scale of one Black Fist to five Black Fists, how many fists do you give Peyton Ford? I'm going to give it to Brother Baker as a guest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Go first. Given... So when we call stuff a classic, are we talk, are we encompassing mm -hmm. impact, visibility? Are we mm -hmm. considering all of this, this or are is, we just going from personal? This is your scale, okay. right? Like your scale is this a five Black Fist movie, mm -hmm. four, three, two, one, et cetera, et cetera? Your personal scale. I would have to give it four point five to a flimsy five, mm -hmm. given that. Um, since it's so small scale in terms of visibility, mm -hmm. gross, but people that watch Paid in Full rock with Paid in Full. Yeah, like I don't, I don't run into people that's like, eh, it really wasn't doing it for me. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't hear that right. about mm -hmm. Paid in Full, and I feel like it's a, it's a gem, uh, given given the fact that everything felt so grounded and mm -hmm. real and like like even Minister Society doesn't hold up mm -hmm. like paid in full. Yeah. Even though it's older than paid in full. You don't think it does. I don't think Minister Society holds up as well as paid in full. That's a great Because point. there I are many moments agree. in Minister Society where I'll be like, ah. Yep. I agree. Ah. Ooh, I agree. We'll have, we'll have to get we'll have, yeah. we'll have to mm -hmm. get back to that. Yeah, I, we, 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 we you bring we'll me back. I'm, I'm, I'm here for this anytime. But yeah. mm -hmm. I feel like there are a lot of notes in Minister Society that just don't don't really hold up. Yeah. And okay. paid in full to me just holds up on so many levels. Yeah. It holds up to Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'll but but I, I feel like if it's not right at the classic, mm -hmm. it's it's a four point five. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going for strong black fists, right? And for everything that you just said, yeah. so I won't be long-winded at all. It's a really good movie. I really love it. Um, but when I compare it to the types of movies that I give five black fists to, yeah. it does, you know, rank just slightly below those films. Yeah, Wonderful film. Happy to watch it anytime that it's on. Right. So many great lines, so many great performances. This is a strong four Black Fist movie for me. Um, it's hard for me to to not give it a five, but the only reason why I can't give it a five is because there are some films like like you know back in back in school where somebody messed up the curve. Yeah, there's a couple of films that that changed the curve and mm. thus turned this into a four for me. So four Black Fist. Okay. Damn, <laughs> I was uh, hearing your uh, hearing your uh, reasons. I was like, for sure, this, and then hearing yours, I'm like, well, maybe I should bring it to this. But I'm gonna, I'm thinking about how I feel about it. Like if I and I think nowadays mm. the name the the title paid in full rings bigger bells than it did 15 years ago mm -hmm. yeah for sure yeah so it i think like fine it, wine. It, yeah you know what i'm saying so yeah. now i think it grew into a five and that's why i give it i give it five I can't fight yeah. you on that and because it gives me everything it gives me performance yeah it gives me street shit mm -hmm. um it gives it uh it gives me um it didn't give me the layers it might it might be missing a layer but is it really? Is it's, it's, it's a hood tale. It's a right. tale about the story. It's not, yeah. a, it's not. We're not talking about the police mm -hmm. and you know them raiding the houses and right. it's not. So we don't have. We only have the perspective of these street dudes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I got to give it a five for me because of the quotables. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it's up there with. The violence is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The um, I think bringing humanizing the characters. Yep. Mm -hmm. Making them real. Making them like you said, like yep. Rico. I mean, uh, I wish, I wish 
Rico had a, a side story to it. Right. Like, maybe a couple mm-hmm. scenes where he went home. Yeah. And why? What's his yeah. house like? What's his what's parents? His Who was his mom? What's Who's his, his situation? That was one more beat to, yeah. to flesh yeah. him so, out. Yeah, that's but, a good point. You could. Some people might say, "Well, why? Why don't you break it down? Bring it to a four because of that?" No, I, I still it's still a five because yeah. of because so many films. Only reason why it, it, didn't, it didn't go bigger is because it wasn't in theaters as much, or it wasn't right. pushed. The, the budget promo wasn't, wasn't there. The yeah. budget, yeah. But I think uh, uh, Wood Harris, Mackay Pfeiffer, Cameron held covered slayed, slayed that movie, slayed. and that's I wouldn't want to change them. Yep. Yeah. Cameron, yep. I don't, I don't want I wouldn't change him for a seasoned actor to put. No, Cameron yep. did a great job. Right. Yep. I, it's a five for me. Um, mm-hmm. I love even is. even even the sub characters like the Regina Halls, yeah, and the ISIS, yeah, um, I yeah. did the cow. I loved Calvin. Oh man, yeah. I mean, it's fantastic! Dick all oh, night <laughs> long, man. And you told him, <laughs> "Bro, you dating my sister? You yeah. can't tell me this, right?" You know what I'm saying? So he was yeah. just a the small snake. shit, small snake. shit, like snake. showing the money before he went. Uh, that yeah. to me mm. is what I loved about the film, yeah. bro. It made me feel like Belly mm. came out. Belly came out before. Belly was a uh, ninety eight. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Belly was Ooh. 98. I can't wait to, yeah, I Belly can't wait to do the verses, homie. Woo. You know what I'm saying? If you ever. Belly has an age back, well. Yes, I want to come back. Yeah. Bro, I would love to have you, man. Have me for every yeah. episode. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I, yeah. you, I'm about this life. Yeah. Man. It was, a, yeah. it was a good conversation. A great man. conversation. And it's still so much more, in my opinion, to talk we about. We didn't even with touch on so much and so much of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah. Paid full, man. Paid full. Y'all did your thing. If y'all watching any of y'all. Whoever put this movie together, y'all did you got yeah. that thing. Yes, indeed. Overachieved. For sure. Overachieved. You said we talked about underrated. Underrated. It, it overachieved. Overachieved. Oh, yeah. Underrated For sure. and overachieved. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Boom. Uh, that's it, y'all. Unfortunately, we, we I, I, I would love to talk about this a lot more, <laughs> but we got to go, man. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Tony Baker, oh, yeah. brother, for, sure. for uh, blessing us with uh, with your insight. I wanted to be on this show. Yes. I, I hit the DM. Mm-hmm. I don't know who's watching the page. <laughs> yes. I saw this. I was like, I have to be on this. Yeah. Man. And you, and you so just let the job. people know I came yes, to you. I appreciate this. it, bro. That's how. Well, come yes, back. Yeah, oh, yeah, come for back. sure. For come sure. back. I mean, like, you know, sure. we, we got to talk Hollywood Shuffle. Oh, you know, we got, we got like, I love it. Are you here for that? I, know, I need you for Hollywood you Shuffle. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a comedian. I was just thinking about shuffle. that movie the other day. Okay, okay. Man. so yeah. when we do that, oh, I've been waiting to put that bid in all hour. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, I got to come back for Hollywood Shuffle. Oh, my gosh. That's what I do, what I do. Yeah. Because that's one of the reasons why I do it, man. For sure. Catch us next time. Brother Tone. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. I'm Big Jai, Tony Baker, and we'll see y'all next time, man. Much love. Be good or be good at it. To the max. Pew. Boom. Blackbusters. <laughs>